Hey everybody, Michael Pollan's here. <laughs> it's good to see so many of you coming out. Who knew mental health could be fun? Not at the Opera House, buy a ticket, all about mental health. I do think tonight's program is about the most fun and fascinating stuff. Welcome to the Progressive Forum. I'm Randall Morton, founder. Tonight we're going to get really high <laughs> talking about psychedelics with Michael Pollan and his number one New York Times best-selling book, How to Change Your Mind: What the New Science of Sci no, the New Science of Psychedelics Teaches Us About Consciousness, Dying, Addiction, Depression, and Transcendence. This event wouldn't be possible without our generous sponsors, Melanie Gray and Mark Wayro and Lisa Paris. Yeah, you can applaud now. Yeah. <laughs> Melanie Gray is a retired senior litigation attorney of complex cases and serves on numerous boards. Her husband, Mark Wayro, is a top attorney with Sussman Godfrey, whose groundbreaking cases you read about in the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal. Lisa Paris is co-founder of the E-Consortium Group, an IT consulting firm based here in Houston. Her husband, Mustafa Conchinwala, is chief information officer for the Harris County Harris Center for Mental Health. And their daughter, Alex, we like to see young people in the audience, love these young faces, who's working on her master's degree in social work. She's here too, yeah. I have gifts for you both, handsome clocks engraved with your name and tonight's details. So let's give them all a hand. Thank you all so much. And I have gifts for you audience members. A dozen free hats I'll give away at the end of the evening. They say, I got high reading How to Change Your Mind. <laughs> this is a way to meet some of you. So during the book signing and the grand foyer, just come over and say hi, and I'll give you a hat. You can buy several titles of Michael Pollan's books in the lobby from our wonderful book partner, Blue Willow Bookshop. For tonight's program, Michael Pollan requested a Q&A with me, and then he'll take questions directly from you, our audience members. And then he'll sign books and greet fans in the grand foyer. Now, please turn off those noisy cell phones if we hear them. We will be empathetic. This is mental health. We will not shame you. We'll just line you up with a therapist. <laughs> so if you're not ready for therapy, click off your cell phones so you don't get anxious about therapy. I am particularly excited about tonight's event on mental health. A public event of this size at the Wortham talking openly helps to destigmatize and normalize it, and helps to encourage the medical capital, Houston, to fully embrace the exciting potentials of psychedelic healing. Psychedelics are not your 1960s counterculture thing anymore. As Michael Pollan told the Houston Chronicle, the mental health industry hasn't had the breakthroughs like other medical fields, such as cardiology and oncology. So health leaders have been welcoming psychedelics and driving research in leading establishments like Houston's Baylor College of Medicine, DeBakey VA, and UT Medical. And we're gonna be open tonight. We'll probably be too open. So I'm saying I myself have benefited from psychedelics I had two trips when I was 20. In the important one, I was throwing a Frisbee around with friends on a farm in the Virginia countryside, and someone gave me a handful of what looked like mud and said, this is mescaline. 
Back then in the 60s, we didn't ask questions. <laughs> we just experimented. I do not recommend that. <laughs> These molecules are powerful. It's important to take them seriously. I was lucky that the set and setting, and we'll talk about set and setting tonight, in nature was just ideal. So as the mescaline came on, I adopted an intention, and we'll talk about intentions, to be open and just see what I could learn. I peeled off from the group and walked into a field surrounded by trees, which I felt were communicating with me. And for hours, it felt like I merged with a core being of nature. These trips can change your life. Uh, I realized for me how interconnected we are with nature and the importance of taking care of it. In recent years, I dealt with a serious depression and got well with a therapist, not psychedelics, but learning about the breakthroughs with psychedelics in healing these dreadful conditions like depression, I got excited about bringing Michael Pollan back to Houston. Michael Pollan was first here at the Progressive Forum as a leader of the food movement. It was such a pleasure to be with him, so he's just so grounded and sensible. Most of all, I admire Michael's natural curiosity, especially the courage to follow his curiosity, an attribute that has led him to eight books, three of them instant number one New York Times bestsellers. I give you Michael Pollan. Thank you.